In this series of videos, we are going to create a page where you can add plants to our database. Now, we haven't created the database yet, and that's okay. We've created a stub for our DAO, and at this point, that's all that we need. So, first of all, we see index, contact us, privacy. We see well, quite a few pages that we have, and we're going to add another, which is going to be add plant or something like that. So we're going to want to think about how we can organize these into navigation. Now, luckily, we're using this template, and the template defines a top area, which is a good place to put a menu. So we're going to use the Prime Faces menu, the uh, menu bar. Uh, as you can see here, it allows for drop-down navigation. It also allows for certain items directly on the menu itself and even an integrated search. Now that's good because we, we want to have, we want to think about mobile design and we want to think about relative priority. It's easy to make a website where everything just jumps out and is, uh, you have every single option at your page, but certain things should have higher priority than others. For example, search. You should always be able to search for a plant. But then something like contact us and privacy policy, those aren't as important and those can be hidden. That's fine. So uh, things that can be hidden, we maybe want to have in a drop down structure like this where we have to continue to uh, navigate from one to the next to the next and so on and so forth. So to make this, we're going to borrow the P menu bar element. And then P sub menu gives us this drop down capability. Uh, and then the item that a user will click on is P menu item. So menu bar, sub menu, and menu item. If you want an item like quit to be actionable directly from the menu bar, then we just don't put it in the sub menu. We simply drop the menu item directly on the menu bar within the menu bar itself. And then uh, for the search, we do a facet. As you see here, the facet indicates that uh, search button that we're going to see. So let's run back to our template. And in the head section, well, first of all, before we do that even, let's see what it looks like uh, at the current time. So I'm going to go to, well, let's see one second here. I'm going to go to our plant places UI, and we see this is the current look and feel. So our goal is to put a menu right here in the top navigation. So back to the, uh, okay, back to the template page. <coughs> because we're doing it in the uh, template, this menu is going to be universal for our entire uh, web application. Okay, so we're going to start with P colon menu bar. And then naturally that will give us a close tag. And then within this, let's start with just a P menu item. For the menu item, we're going to say label equals home, and then we'll say uh, URL, rather, uh, URL equals, and then we'll say index.xhtml. Okay, and then we'll make this a self-closing tag, so the slash on the question mark key and a greater than symbol, and save. So that's going to be home, which is always going to be in that top left. Uh, now under this, we'll say p, colon, and then submenu, then we'll say label, equals, we could say something like administration or something like that for the moment. We might change this later, but let's say administration. Okay. And um, that'll be good for now. And then that will give us a closing tag. And then under here, we'll say P colon menu item label equals add a plant. We might want ones later for modify a plant or things like that. Uh, remove a plant, but let's just start simple. Let's start with P menu item label equals add a plant. And then URL, that means where are we going to go? And for this, we'll say add plant.xhtml, which is a page that we have not yet created. So we'll go ahead and choose save. And then we'll stub out this add plant.xhtml page. So save, control M. Now we do want this menu to be universal. And so I take a look at index.xhtml, and remember this is an example of using a template because we have the UI composition element here, and we're saying that we're using the template.xhtml, and then we're defining what goes in the title, top, and content sections. This is an excellent starting point. So a simple Control-C, 
and then back up to the web content folder and control V and let's call this addplant.xhtml. Hopefully my memory is correct and that's the name of this uh, menu option that we've created. Let's just double check. So addplant.xhtml, yeah that's correct. Okay, so we have the stub of a, a JSF page here, a prime faces skin JSF page. And I can take out the text that we have down here because we're going to replace that with the UI elements to add a plant. So let me take everything out down to UI define. And uh, I'll just change the title a little bit. We'll say, just one second, we'll say enter plant details. Okay, something like that's fine. Uh, we don't need this autocomplete anymore. We can go ahead and take that away. Uh, this we're going to need to change eventually. We don't have to change it right now. And then we will also change a couple of other identifying text here. So we'll say add a new plant. And for the title, uh, let's see, for the top actually, yeah, for both of these, we'll say plantplaces.com. And then we'll say add. Add a plant, copy that, control C, and place that up here in our title as well. Now I did a video on this previously where I talked about the template, and the title is what's going to go in the title bar of the browser, where the top is going to be just kind of like a heading that goes above the menu. Uh, and I probably should fix my spelling of plant. So we did that in a previous video. Our goal for this video is just to make the menu and confirm that we can see the menu on every page that is associated with this template. Now my apologies, I realized I made a mistake here. On the menu item, instead of label, it should be value. Let me fix that. So uh, value for each of the menu items and save. And I also see another spelling error I made. It should be XHTML, not XH. <laughs> XHTML, not HXTML. So let me save that. Now, typically, we're not going to have to redeploy in Tomcat. Typically, it will pick up these changes and it's able to hot swap them. So let's go back to our plantplaces.com homepage. Let me hit refresh and let's take a look. Okay, uh, we could probably add a bit more space for this up at the top. We can finagle that top sizing a little bit, which is probably a good idea. Uh, but home, we're already at home. Now administration, add a plant. You see how that's a nice, uh, that's, a, that's a nice kind of look and feel. Uh, doesn't really match with our brown and our green up here, but nonetheless, it, the, the important thing is it's drawn by that same look and feel that we've added to this, or the same uh, Prime Faces theme actually, that we added to this website before. So you see the green here and the submit button uh, goes well with the green up here. If we change our look and feel back in that, uh, I want to say it was either Faces Config or Web XML. We'll find that in just a moment. If we change the look and feel, it's going to change all of our components, both the uh, both the menu and also the submit button and everything else. But nonetheless, I click back to home, and this will take us right back to the home page. And then administration, add a plan. That takes us to the administration and add a plan page. Uh, we could continue with this. We could have, uh, you know, an, another drop down here that has the privacy policy and contact us and things like that. But uh, I think at this point we see that we're able to create and post the menu and we can certainly grow it from there. So in our next video, we're going to expand on this add a plant page and we're going to create some fields that will actually populate a plant. We'll take a look at the debugger under the covers and we'll see what happens when we hit submit and how we populate that plant. I look forward to seeing you then.